I'm so excited. And if you look in the pan, there's no foamy white water or anything horrible coming out. It's just proper sizzling real bacon. Over the summer here in Dorset, I've been playing around with making my own bacon. It's so rewarding, the flavor is unreal, and it couldn't be easier. Once you've tried it, you never go back. This is my home cured bacon hanging in and amongst my prosciuttos. This stuff is so special. It takes about 10 days to make, but it's so worth it. This is how to turn a regular good old belly of pork into bacon. First, make a cure with demerara sugar, lots of sea salt, torn bay leaves, juniper berries, black pepper, and grated nutmeg. Then scatter a thin layer into a container and put a two kilo piece of organic pork belly on top. Sprinkle over more cure, then leave it in the fridge overnight. For the next four days, take the pork out, pour away the water, scrape off some of the old cure and scatter fresh cure under and over the pork, then put it back in the fridge. After five days, attach a hook, wrap it in muslin, tie with string, and hang it in the shed for another five days to air dry. And if you like that, how about homemade butter? First things first, you need really cold cream. That's gonna help the butter form. Pour it into your mixer. You just turn it on and whip it. Like you're making whipped cream. And we've all had that moment where whipped cream suddenly goes that odd grainy texture when you've over whipped it. If you keep going from there, that's where you start to get butter. And the whipped cream forms into butter and buttermilk. The whipped cream suddenly gone. You can see it's going quite grainy, it means you can turn it up at this point. Suddenly gone yellow, which I love. I'm starting to get wet, which is the buttermilk flying out. Trick now is to separate it from the buttermilk. Just pour that away. Definitely hang on to that. It really is such a brilliant tool for a good marinade. So I'm just going to get the butter in here. Use your hands or a paddle if you like. Then bring it together. And you just want to squeeze out much of that liquid as possible. And now you need to season the butter and then work it through with your hands. You can use all sorts of different types of salt. It's quite a fun medium to play around with and it lasts for ages. You can freeze them in logs and just cut it straight from the freezer. But it is extraordinary how good a homemade butter is. Get it on a piece of baking parchment and just spread it out into a rough log shape. Tuck it over and squish it in and then spin. Take each end and you just twist. Twist, get a nice log and you're done. When you've got butter and bacon as good as this, there's only one thing for it, an incredible sandwich. I'm so excited. And if you look in the pan, there's no foamy white water or anything horrible coming out. It's just proper sizzling real bacon. I'm just gonna scoot these over, fry an egg, pepper, nice pinch of salt. Got this lovely butter. Wow, look at that. I'll spread it thickly on a big old slice of bread. You can never have enough butter. Then bacon, egg, homemade ketchup, top on and slice. I'm gonna go eat this in the greenhouse. I've got lots of planted to crack on with and food does just taste better outside. <laughs>